Okay, Mike, second video. Uh, gonna go through the equipment really quick, talk about affixes, and then go back through a second time to talk about aspects. Uh, first off, run all emeralds. You wanna make sure you're running five emeralds in your equipment and skull, well, I guess you'll be running hearts in your jewelry. Uh, I use topaz in uh, weapons, but it, I don't know that it matters that much, to be honest with you. Just make sure it's emeralds in uh, your helmet, your chest, and your pants. Okay, so the helmet affixes total armor, life on kill, maximum life, cooldown reduction. Uh, those are really important to try to find. Uh, I use razor plate, but uh, until you find a razor plate, make sure it has thorns, increase in health, and then any other damage mitigation that you can find. But thorns and max health, those are the two big ones. Uh, on, your, uh, on your hands, you can run uh, any kind of cooldown reduction is going to be huge. I have a unique on here, but you want to be looking for uh, cooldown reduction and attack speed uh, are the two most important ones that you can find there. Uh, on your pants, total armor, max life, damage reduction, and thorns. Thorns being the most important one there, and then max life being the second most important. Uh, boots. Fortified generation is completely garbage. I don't even know why it's on there. But try to get movement speed and then strength are all stats. And then the other couple, like damage reduction when injured, is a really good one to get out of a tight spot. It can save your life. Uh, in the necklace, uh, most importantly, is the ranks of tough nails. And you might have to upgrade it to get it from a one to two or a two to three. But try to try to find one with Tough, tough as nails, uh, getting buffed. It's kind of rare, so I wouldn't roll for that. I'd try to find one with that. And then try to roll one of your other stats for thorns. Uh, then also look for uh, cooldown reduction and some kind of damage mitigation. Uh, you could also mix movement speed in instead of the extra damage mitigation. But cooldown reduction, thorns, and tough as nails are the three most important. Um, on the rings, just try to get max life. And uh, the rest of it, lucky hit chance, whatever you want. Uh, but max life is going to be the most important thing to throw onto those. Uh, on, in terms of weapons, for the uh, two-handers, it's not as important. Try to do strength and all stats on each. Uh, basic skill damage and damage to close seem to be kind of nice. Um, you also see I've got a little bit of crit here. Damage to slowed, which we can do because thorns now slow through their bleed. Uh, damage to crowd control works just like damage to slowed. Damage over time means more bleed. Um, damage to close enemies, eh, you know. But throw the strength on there, absolutely. And then you'll see all stats and strength on this one as well. So really hunt those down. Okay. Uh, in terms of affixes. Uh, basic skills, since you're spamming them, might as well take the 20% damage reduction. Uh, the chest, eh, I don't have anything on those two. Uh, so you have a couple extra slots. Yay! Um, so I use this one, Lucky Hit, to, to get a ton of Fortify. Fortify is great. Uh, and will make you uh, much more survivable. This one isn't great early game until you figure out how to keep berserking up, though. Um, Unstoppable for four seconds. Um, uh, you get extra movement speed and you can move through enemies. So this feels really great since you have a couple of sources of unstoppable. Um, let's see, let's do these. Uh, the necklace, iron skin grants unstoppable and 27% damage reduction. So it's great damage mitigation, but almost more importantly, it just becomes another source of unstoppable, so I, I don't get killed when I'm frozen or, or stunned or anything crazy like that. Uh, it's also great in PvP. Uh, I speed up my basic skill since it's like the only thing I spam. I might as well keep those stacks up and you know, it's the only thing I have active to do. Uh, so I wanna do it fast. Uh, and then uh, this is super important. Whenever you cast a shout skill, its cooldown is reduced by an amount of time based on uh, how many enemies you're near. And typically you're gonna wade into the groups and survive them. So when you use a shout, uh, this is gonna give you a great cooldown. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to use your shouts quite a bit, thanks to that. Uh, 
in terms of damage, this is a great one for one of your two-handers. Whenever you're berserking, gain thorns, and it's a fair amount of thorns. Uh, so until you get razor plate, this is going to be another great source for you. Uh, berserking, you're going to do a fair amount of berserking right now. You'll do more later, but for now, put that on. Uh, your other two-hander, we talked about this. You want to make sure one of your two-handers is running thorns damage, uh, has a chance to deal damage to all the enemies around you. So it's that pincushion thing, the one that we earned for you earlier today with uh, Lord Chi Meng. Uh, for the two one-handers, uh, I this one is just a little bit of extra damage from berserking. It doesn't make or break the build. Um, and then this one is nearly useless, really, when berserking fire damage to those around you, but it looks kind of cool. Just make sure you get the pincushion one uh, and uh, make sure you have the gain thorns while berserking. These you can play with a little bit. And then uh, the one where you uh, do the uh, skill cooldown, super important. Okay, hope that helped.